Well, grace and peace to you, church family. Uh, we trust that God is supplying you with what you need to carry out His mission here in Austin, Texas. Whatever context that looks like for you as witnesses to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a wonderful spring day. We've got a lot of wind outside, which is why we are filming indoors. Uh, but the announcement is about something that's going to take place outdoors. So as you recall, we're coming up on a, a pretty big moment, uh, a marker for what happened a year ago when the pandemic came to Austin and we had to close our doors for a few months doing a live stream only worship assembly. And we're thankful for that tech crew that has kept that going and the work that they continue to do in providing that live stream. I've heard uh, countless comments, people who are, are just so grateful for what that crew continues to do. I want to make note of something that is upcoming, and this is from the elders and the staff, and that is an assembly that is going to take place on Easter Sunday, April the 4th, and we're hoping that there will be a lot of people in attendance for this assembly. We're going to host an outdoor worship assembly Sunday morning, April the 4th. Now we're going to continue to practice our COVID safety protocols, uh, but it is our hope that we will have a lot more people here who can worship in a safe way. Uh, what a wonderful opportunity to gather together, to uh, sing praises to God with joy in our hearts, to remember together the death and the burial and the resurrection of our Lord, the heartbeat of our faith, as we share the bread and the cup and experience the sweet fellowship that we have in the Spirit. So what is this outdoor worship assembly? Well, let me begin by saying what it's not. This is not the green light. Uh, this is not the announcement that says, we're back Everything is back to normal from this point forward. Now, that is not the reality. But what this is, hopefully, in the grand scheme of things, this outdoor worship service, we hope that it is a taste of that which is to come. And especially for those who have not tasted an in-person worship assembly for a year now, uh, we hope that this will whet our appetites for something that's coming in the future. So again, that date, April the 4th, Easter Sunday, uh, be on the lookout for emails, invitations. There will be an RSVP that will be really important to sign up for so that we can plan for this wonderful Sunday, a Sunday that we hope will be refreshing to your souls, uh, but also that it will be an encouragement as we glorify God together, remembering His mighty acts among us, His acts of loving kindness toward His people. But in the meantime, let us pray, let us persevere, and let us encourage one another in the weeks to come. Blessings to you, Brentwood Oaks Church family.